Bringing up children today is not easy, especially when they are teenagers. We as parents try to teach them right from wrong, try to steer them in the right direction so that they in turn can make good choices in their lives. But it's a struggle and sometimes can be very overwhelming. As part of our My Book series, we have with us today Beth Shriver, author of Peace for Parents of Teens. Good morning. Good morning, Christy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now tell me about your family. You have two kids? I do. My daughter is 19 and she is in college going for her criminal justice degree. And my son is 17 and he is going to be a senior in um, high school. Excellent. And he's gearing up for the football season. Oh, he must be so excited. Mm -hmm. Now this book is not about your kids, but it is a book that you wrote as a result of your experience with uh, your children growing right, up. Right, right. Yeah. Tell me about that. It isn't about anyone in specifically. It's about um, teen teenagers in general. Um, and I wrote it um, during a time that my daughter had a difficult time after a move we made and she was going through a lot of struggles and it was very hard for me as a parent to see her go through this you know mm -hmm. it's basic disobedience and and um, being disrespectful and then it led to problems at school and it just over, you know kept continuing from there right. um, so I searched for some um, peace in, in a meditation or a devotional and couldn't find anything specific to parents and teens so uh, as a writer I started writing my own so for someone that may be experiencing something like this, because I'm sure a lot of parents out there can relate to this, how do they find peace? You know, for us, we um, had some practical um, applications that we used. Um, the main thing was to unite as parents, to get on board um, and decide how you're going to parent together. Because very my husband and I had very different um, personalities as far as how we were going to do that. and. Um, so that's really important because the kids can use you against each other if you don't. Um, also, we did a contract with my daughter um, where we would set up the, the house rules and then um, the consequences that went with that. And she did that with us, so it helped make her um, you know, responsible for that to be followed through with. Now let me ask you something. Uh, my husband and myself, we, we do join forces, I will say that. But we find ourselves always asking, are, are we being good parents? Are we doing the right thing? Are we making mistakes? Normal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, definitely. I think we need to know that we're going to make mistakes and find the peace in that awareness. And um, still feeling confident in your role as a parent. Mm -hmm. And some things that um, helped me is um, I started a prayer group, Moms in Touch, and that helped. Um, you know, networking with other parents and seeing what they do in certain situations. And this generation is much harder, I think, to parent in because, you know, there's so much more awareness for parents. And I think it's very difficult to be a teenager today, too. It is very difficult. Something I loved about the book, Beth, was uh, the way you wrote it. It's like a weekly diary, if you will. Short reflections. I liked that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, I, I made it short on purpose because so many times devotionals are long and you intend to read it and you see it and it's too much. So I purposely made everything short, shorter in here. There and there are, are themes throughout mm -hmm. the book. Yeah. Can you tell me some? Some are mercy, hopefulness, humbleness, and then each day from that theme you have um, five elements and it starts out um, with scripture and then it goes to a question and you can engage your child in that question. And then the narrative deals with different issues that teens go through peer pressure, drugs, that sort of thing. Um, and then it goes to a quote and then ends with a prayer. Excellent. Now, for someone out there that's struggling right now with mm -hmm. a teenager and they're asking, all right, Beth, you know, what do I do? All right. What would you tell them? You know, there's a passage that's very inspirational for me that I refer to frequently. It's on page 293. Okay. Would you like me to read it to you? I'd love for you. Okay. 293? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, helping teens to see how things turn out in ways they never imagined will help them have hope for the future. Their life's journey may be tough at times, but if they can see the good that comes from a result as their trials, they'll be encouraged to trust God whenever they face tra challenges. And that's what your teenage daughter did, mm -hmm. isn't it? We did. We persevered. And she's doing great. She is. Thank you so much, Beth. Thank you. Very, very, very informative, and I appreciate your time. And if you'd like to read Beth Shriver's book, Peace for Parents with Teens, go to BethShriverWriter.com.